ran the Paramount Theater. So he'd take her down there and she got to watch all these bands warm up, like the coasters, the ink platters, in you know, the free rock and roll kind of music. And she just she just loved that. Loved live music. She was just enthralled by that. And to prove my point, has anybody else in this room seen Barry Manilow five times? <laughs> I have. I have. Five times. And the last time and was he, real fast. Yeah. Last time, last time he came out, he sang like a, not even a verse and said, I can't do this, I can't do this, and walked off stage. That's the Barry I love. <laughs> She works as a lifeguard down at what is now Lunia Beach. And uh, uh, when she got into her 20s, she decided she wanted a career, so she worked as an operator. You know, operator, give me number nine, you know. A real board like that in Seattle. So she'd have to take the ferry from Kirkland to Seattle to work every day. And she said that was one of the happiest times of her lives, because she was out with the girls and newfound freedom from her parents and that was some of the happiest times of life, she said. Anyways, from, uh, say, 1955 to 1960, she uh, had four kids, four boys. Bob and I are the last two, and we're going to wrestle over that at the end of the night, so now let's do count for something. Uh, um, she divorced in the mid-60s, and so there's my mom with four very active Teenage boys. Monsters. <laughs> Wait till the story I tell the end. But sweet, uh, sweet So those are some those are smart times for us, for her. But we, we made it by. And then she met Lloyd. And I don't know how many of you had met Lloyd in your lifetime, but uh, he was probably the best thing that ever happened to our family. What? Absolutely. But, uh, Absolutely. Uh, he turned us all around. And I miss him every day. Wonderful, wonderful man. This is Lloyd's family here. Yay. I'd like to be known as the Pseudos. And thank you all so much for coming out. Really, it's real special here. Thank you very much. Uh, so, met Lloyd. They, uh, we lived in a little little house, three bedroom house in Robinswood. And Lloyd, the gardener, there he is, took care of that yard quick. So they had to move to a bigger place, to get a bigger yard. <laughs> so they moved to Sammamish, and they bought the house down there in Issaquah. And I don't know, six, seven, eight years later, the garden had become too much for them to work every day. So they needed to downsize. <laughs> so, they moved up. so anyways, uh, one other thing my mother wanted me to do on this day is she wanted, I, I have a story I tell that she just loves. So I promise her I'd tell her to tell you guys the story. <laughs> I must have been 10, 11 years old, and one of the neighbor families asked me if I'd go, like to go to summer camp. And I thought, God, I'd love to go out there to camp, sure, you know. So they gave me this questionnaire to fill out. And I knew it cost 10 or $25, I don't, really don't remember. But my thought was, if I fill this out and turn it in, and they accept me, I'm in. I'll, I'll get that 25 bucks, and I'll, I'll, go, to, I'll go to camp. So what I didn't realize is this family is very, very religious. So on, on the line it says, what religion are you? you know, hey, hey, Mom, uh, what religion are we? So oh, you boys are heathens. <laughs> so I turn this, this application over to my neighbor, and she's reading Marshall is uh, Diane Lemon. I understand your sons are heathens? <laughs> Who do you tell that to? <laughs> anyway, thank you all for coming out. That's one of my favorite stories. Thank you.